Carpenter Street, one of the oldest streets here in the capital of Sarawak, Kuching. This street is full of characters. There are buildings over a century old, and some shops have been run by families for one, two, three, four, five generations. This street is famous amongst locals and foreigners alike when it comes to food. So, let's explore this street. Let's meet the people that live and work here. And let's find out what the most famous and popular dish here is on Carpenter Street. Now, before we get started, can you please click that like button real quick? It only takes one second and it helps my channel a lot. All right, without any further ado, let's get started. This is Global Given. Good morning. Hello. How are you? Good. All right, can I ask you a few questions? First question is, how long have you been working at the shop? You. Me. Uh, how long? About 30 plus years. You've been working here for 30 years. 30 plus years. Is this a family business? Yeah. How many generations? Four. You're the fourth generation. Wow. So what year did your ancestors <laughs> open up their shop? Okay, so we read, it was 1920. Okay, watch making ha and what do you see has changed here in the street in your 30, 40 years of working here? Is it all still the same? Uh, more or less the same, only more, more high rise buildings. Right, so buildings are getting taller. Yeah. Okay, and then when you start, of course, there were cars already? Yeah, but not too many. <laughs> People used to go on bicycles before, or how did yeah. that work? Mm -hmm. walk, a lot of walking, right? And cycling. And now you get a lot more cycles too. I've got one more question. What? Is your favorite part of your job? Um, I get to decide my time. I get to decide when uh, I'm going to take coffee, when I'm going to take coffee break. Yeah. Your, your own boss. Yes. yes. Freedom. And do you enjoy talking to people and figuring out what their problems are? Is that something that you enjoy or? Yeah, it depends on who I'm. Yeah, some people are easy, some people are difficult, yeah. right? <laughs> And that is the same in four generations. Okay. All right, thank you so much. Have a yeah. wonderful day. <laughs> Good to see you. So I've been walking on Carpenter Street for over 12 years. I've lived in Kuching uh, for 12 years and I really like Carpenter Street. It's really my favorite street and it's especially the characters. It's all these people that live and work here. And for example, this man over here, he's worked at this shop for 30, 40 years as it was given down to him by his father, and his father, and his father. So for over a hundred years, this shop has been here. It's unfathomable, and that is what makes Carpenter Street so unique. As Carpenter Street is one of the oldest streets here in Kuching, there is so much culture here and it is a predominantly Chinese street, so most of the shops here are Chinese and there are, as much as I know, there is at least three temples here, three Chinese temples here and this temple has been here for over 150 years. Well, the first one was originally built, it was a very basic structure which was uh, eventually burnt down during a huge fire that was here in 1860, so over 150 years ago. And then they rebuilt it to this really beautiful temple as it is now.
I reckon the whole street is about a kilometer long or maybe a bit less, maybe a bit more. And that means that there are so many different shops, right? There are shops, there's a little shop here selling coins. And that man has been there for as long as I can remember, which is at least 12 years, probably a lot longer. There's a shop here selling fresh fruit. There's a shop opposite there which sells the best chicken rice on the whole street, possibly even in Kuchi. And what else is there to see? So there's a few side streets as well. This is Upper China Street. There's Bishop Gate over there. That is Lower China Street. There's a couple of alleys. And I know in this little side alley, there is a barber that I got my hair cut last week. So we're gonna go and pay him a visit. So here we are, probably at one of the most interesting shops on all of Carpenter Street. Sure, it's in a little side street, but this is still considered Carpenter Street. This is Nampua Hair Barber Center. And I got my hair cut here last week by a really amazing gentleman. And he is over 80 years old. And he told me he's been cutting hair on this street, in this shop, for over 60 years. I'm gonna go in, I just wanna say hi. Hello. Ni hao ma? Good? Restaurant, another very old building here on Carpenter Street. And what was interesting is that this was the first high end restaurant on Carpenter Street, and they were the first to have air conditioning inside all those years ago. All right, so I'm here with Ellen, the uh, owner of the coffee shop that's in here now. How are you? Good. I read online that this building was the first air-conditioned restaurant on Carpenter Street. In Kuching. In Kuching. Yes. First air-conditioned restaurant in Kuching. And now you are the best pork rice shop on Carpenter Street. Yes, that's my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll ask you one more question. What do you like most about your job? Meeting people. Meeting people, yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. Yeah. So you might wonder, where does Carpenter Street get its name from? Hmm. Obviously, there used to be a lot of carpenters on this street, making furniture and selling furniture. Now, this is not a carpenter, but there's also a lot of other shops, like pharmacies and especially these Chinese medicine shops. There's a lot of restaurants, there's a lot of goldsmiths here and again there's still a lot of carpenters as well. So after this let's go and see the carpenter. Like I said, Carpenter Street. Still a lot of carpenters but these days they don't make the furniture here anymore. Some of these shops have little factories outside of the city center where they still build it. And this is more of a storefront where they sell a lot of furniture. So if you're looking for good furniture, come to Carpenter Street. All right, come with me. I'll show you a hidden place here on Carpenter Street. Not on the ground floor, it's all the way up. Let's go. Another unique spot here on Carpenter Street. A temple on the third floor of one of the shop lots. And it's a beautiful temple. You've got a beautiful view of the street, that side and that side. I don't know what else to say. I just love this street, Carpenter Street. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. How are you? Fine. All right, can I ask you, how long have you been working here? How long have you been a tinsmith? 30 years. 
30 wow. years. 30 years, all right. And did you start this shop or is it a family shop? Um, my, my grandfather, my father, and then I third generation. Right, so how long has the shop been open since your grandfather? I think it's uh, 103 years. Wow. Do you still enjoy your work? Yeah. What is your favorite thing to make? Uh, Arabian tray. A what? Arabian tray. A tray. For cake juice. Okay. Doing Good. cake. Oh, okay. Oh, for the, making the cake. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, well, thank you. Have a wonderful day. Yeah, welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. How long have you been running the shop? Oh, I'm running the shop at every day is 15 years already. 15 years already? Yeah. Okay. Did you start the shop yourself? Yes. Okay. Do you still uh, enjoy it here on the street? In those 15 years, what do you think are the biggest changes on the street? Over here, I'll be honest to you, I just started here only five years, but I in the latest one in a textile museum. Oh, right, 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 okay. Uh, 10 years I'm in a textile museum. Right. Okay, and what do you like most about your job? The most that I like, I always do reading, this my work. Right, <laughs> yeah. work and hobby. Yes, right? hobby, yeah. I enjoy it to do it. That's good. Almost finished the video. I'm gonna have food at one of my favorite places. One of my favorite persons on this whole street. Right here. Obviously, Kim Ju. Famous for its homemade kolomi. And maybe there's something special in store for me today. <laughs> ah, a new dish. Yes. Braised pork rice. Let's try this. Delicious. Soy soy. Mmm, that's good. <laughs> recipe. All right. Recipe. Let me ask you a question. Okay. I know I've asked you this in previous videos, but how long have you been running your shop here? Aya. Berapa tahun? You. In my hand, uh, around 30. 30 years. You 30. Yes. And you are which generation? Number two, three, or four? Running the shop. The the third. Uh, third generation. So altogether, how many years since your grandparents started it? Around the Second World War, is it? 1940 something. 40 something, so about 60, 70, so 80 years. So the office is nearby. Office is over there. Mm -hmm. okay. So I think 1942 they are open already. Wow. During the war? Yeah. Wow. After that is 1945 surrender, is it? Yeah. So they continue. Okay. Okay. But before that is only the the Coffee, right, yeah. the fight, the roti. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you enjoy about it? Do you still enjoy every day? Yes. What do you like the most every Talking day? To people? Yeah. Got friends? Mm. Oh. Yeah. Won't feel lonely? Yeah. Still got money coming in? Yeah, that's important. <laughs> and it's nice to be on the street, yeah. right? Yeah. We're neighbors. We, we feel this. We see each other every day. <laughs> oh, my boss and relative? Yeah. So we serve them well. Yes. They yes. pay them. They will pay more. Yeah, money. <laughs> <laughs> and just have fun, yeah. Yeah. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Lana. So a day on Carpenter Street is not complete without having a coffee from the best coffee place here on the street. This is Black Bean and they have over 13 different types of beans and the coffee really is delicious here. I get a coffee here once or twice, sometimes five times a week. Yeah, I know, it's, it's that good. So uh, let's order one cappuccino please. Hey, my cousin, the Oran Belanda. 
And my favorite animal in the world, the gibbon. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, hey, you're still here. Now, this is probably one of my most favorite places in the whole world. This is my shop, my office. It's like my home. I really love it here. And I love this street, Carpenter Street. There's also a lot of events happening on Carpenter Street. Like next week, there is the Mooncake Festival. So if you have time, you should definitely pop by because I have a stall and there's hundreds of other stalls selling food and drinks and it's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, this is the end of the video. I had so much fun as I have every single time while walking up and down Carpenter Street, meeting all these unique characters and these people that are absolutely kind. Thanks for watching. See you again next week. And don't forget to click that like button. Maybe share this video. Leave a comment and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. Okay, that was a whole spiel. See you again next week. Bye-bye.